VVS Lakshman comes out to the middle. He's had a good time in this tournament. Averaging 70.67, good strike rate too. 99 is highest. He replaces Birenda Sebag. A little away from his body. Lakshman goes for the big one and finds the gap. One bounce over the rope. Kept getting the impression that something had got to give. The West Indies bowling had sort of shackled these two. That's a very cleverly played shot. Used his feet, didn't quite get to the pitch of the ball, and just bisected that gap between mid wicket and mid on, a long on. Samuels continues. And that's very well placed by BBF Laxman. A rare boundary since the 10th over of this match. Somebody's got to press the button now. 17 overs to go. 16.5 exactly. And I think BBS Lakshman has realized that he's been in for a long time. So he's got to get on with the game and try and score runs. I think he's got weak legs, BBS Lakshman. But he gets his 50 this time. That's his 9.50 in one day international. That has been a good innings. But now he would be expected to score. Placement is the key on that occasion. Now it'll be a tight race, but the ball wins. 200 up for India, 200 for two, and 34 and a half overs. So he's heard your message, Manny. He stepped on the gas. It's a classic shot. Lovely use of the feet from VVS Lakshman. He's put his paddle on the accelerator. That's exactly what he needs to do now. Just use the pace of it. It was a faster ball from Marlon Samuels, and it was spotted very early by Laxman. So the boundary is just starting to flow for India. Laxman, that was a uh, ranked long hop. Very bad delivery from. Uh, Change that line. In the air, straight to hand. Carl Hooper is the catcher, and a very tame end to BBS Laxman's inning. And then a very tame sound as well, off the blade and from the crowd. Absolute silence. You can almost hear a pin drop as Hooper took that catch to remove Laxman for 71. India now 232 for five.